Hello, ah, friends and family. Welcome back to the channel for part two of the Sacramento Reptile Show. If you didn't watch the first part of the show, then you definitely need to go back because this is not going to make sense at all unless you go back and watch part one. I'm going to link it right here. So make sure you watch part one first. If you've already watched part one, then you know exactly what we're getting into here on the second part. Here it is. Ah. What's going on? Man? Working Enjoy hard. Show? Working hard, bro. Working hard. Working hard. Always. Always working hard. Never take a break. Never sitting down. <laughs> Always going. Sitting down. 100%. Sitting down. Nope, not sitting down. I'm just going hard. <laughs> <laughs> Look at John's white camera. John's got a white camera. 20 years ago. Ooh, I'm moving up from my phone to my camera. <laughs> Nick, you're way up there. Yeah, sorry. How's the upshot here? <laughs> any, any hangers or how we do it? Dude, you said at the San Jose show that you were going to be bringing the fire yeah. to the sack show. Yeah, keeping all the hot, hot fire for Sacramento Reptile Show. So if you want to see that, see you at the end of September. I did bring some cool stuff. So a lot of it's already sold. Um, but yeah, we can go check it out. It's already sold? The show just started. I don't care okay so far. Maybe it's because Justin's hanging out in my booth and I'm getting some extra attention, but yeah, it's doing real. But I brought some cool stuff to check out. We got a scaleless uh, possible head true ghost over here and a weird clown that popped out that's kind of wonky for no reason. And they're all right over here, yeah. He's got one scale on the tip of his nose. Yeah, I guess that's that, that rostral scale, they, they keep it, right? It's common, yeah. That's where the egg tooth comes into play? Yeah, and uh, Jason has that one with size on it, and it had like almost micro scales, like three or four of them on the back, but as it's grown, the scales grew with it, and now they're actual like individual scales perched along the dorsal. Um, this one's not for sale. Um, I've seen them go anywhere from 12,000 to 6,000. It's just a normal clown, but it's a really cool one. It's got <clears throat> almost yellow belly-esque on the sides with the alien heads coming up. <clears throat> The belly is super clean with almost like tracks on either side and the head is just a completely different color than the rest of the snake. And I'm more into the busy dark stuff in regards to the clown. And so this, even as a base clown, is a good start. Yeah, that's a, that's a Isn't that cool? looking clown. So it was a banana though. fire het clown, female maker, to a het clown, or to a clown. And it was my most, like, I was super excited about the clutch and I got 11 slugs and one good egg. And this is the one good egg. So these almost look just like like orange sherbet to me. It's a banana inchy cinnamon. Banana inchy cinnamon, nothing too crazy. But uh, back in the day when I first came to my first Tinley, uh, it was the most expensive snake I'd ever bought at the time. It was about three or four years ago now. And it was a banana inchy cinnamon. I got it for $800 and I was freaking out. I'd never spent that much money on a snake. Now that male since then has produced upwards of 20 clutches for me and well made that money back it was a great investment and it was scary for the first time but since then i've i've obviously lapped that price tag a few times in males and uh kind of understanding the business side of all pythons to get returns on your on your purchases we're here at jason amos's booth we still need to get to his place and do like a full snakes of friends on triple yeah. tv and it's a show right now i'll be back up this way we'll close your place but you've got the biggest Scaleless that the, I've seen in person yet. And the healthiest one. And the healthiest. <laughs> She's a scaleless pinstripe. She's 100% head exanthic. She was the first one that I produced. She'll be two years old next month. No problem. Keep them clean, keep them dry. By dry, I mean don't oversaturate their bedding. Keeping them on paper is the best way to go. So what you're mentioning about their their rostral scale is. You want yeah. to show, show some of the fine details? Every one I've produced has had a nice scale on the tip of its nose. It's also got a few nice nubs that are coming in towards the tail. I'm going to put a link down in the description for Jason's stuff so you can go check it out, man. This guy's got some phenomenal ball pythons, like clown pie things that are just, you just have to go look for yourself, I promise you. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, man. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs>
Cusco. It's Mr. Cusco. Where? Oh, what's up, Brian? I haven't seen you in a while, buddy. I haven't seen myself in a while. I know. Where have you been? I've been hiding yeah. within myself. We sold so many, we had to go home and get another black bat. Really? Yeah. I've been trying to go oh, deep. Man. Wait, what? <laughs> what happened now? <laughs> Oh my god, I need a nap. It's a I need a Red Bull. I need a Red Bull. Red Bull time. Bang energy. Yes. We got the Velardos. The Velardos are here. Got us into the show. So we got a big thank you to CMC Reptiles. You know Ed? You know Ed? You know Vanessa? You know the magic paper? The magic paper that fills the retic things? Look at this magic paper. Hey, I'm trying. That's what counts. Look what Ed gave me early Christmas present. Uh, our very own Cade Toad for the educational shows. Remember the one from Canada? This guy's going to get massive. Look at that eye. Ooh, he's talking crazy. What's up, bud? We're going to be friends. You're going to eat everything. Oh, you're even gonna eat my pixie frog? What? <laughs> no! Bob! Hey, how you doing? Can we see one of your odd balls? <laughs> Some of my bongo clips. Bongo? Pastel bongo to inchy, past, inchy uh, pinstripe. So we got inchy pinstripe bongo and pastel inchy pinstripe bongo? This one we we're trying, we we're thinking was the, the pastel bongo pinstripe. Okay. And then this one we're thinking we might have hit all of it with the inchy, thinking the inchy maybe bled it out. Still trying to figure this clutch out. That sounds like me and my life. Yeah. It's difficult. <laughs> it's not easy. The, the hatchling version of the adults that were paired to Correct. make those last snakes? Correct. And so you got the pastel bongo with the inchy pinstripe. Inchy pinstripe. Gotcha. Well, it's cool to be able to see the parents as hatchlings kind of yes. and say, yeah, that's awesome, man. Yeah, it's really cool. Thanks. Thanks for showing us your balls, Bob. No Been a pleasure. This is how cool Timberline is. I mean, not, not only is Todd Goodman a cool cat, but check this out. Timberline gives away free crickets at the show. Just, just free. Walk up, have some crickets, take them home, feed them to your tarantulas and other things that eat crickets and that's that. It's amazing. Free crickets at the show. Timberline. Ah! Sorry, that's not what bearded dragons sound like, is it? <laughs> okay, you can't squeeze them. Okay, you have to be very, two hands, two hands. And they have to stay over the table, okay? It's like a, a worm, right? He's the biggest fans of the No One Knows, Eli Explains Everything segment What's of What's up, life. No One? <laughs> Even though he's wearing the wrong shirt. It's hey, a... You have any t-shirts with you? <laughs> Not with me. I know, I'm failing. So, this, guy, this guy's picked up quite a bit of stuff here, man. I mean, I'm not going to have you go through all of it, but that's a lot of stuff. We got four that's clowns. Four clowns? Four clown females. Four female clowns. Feel a few other different things. Some scaleless Texas rat, a hog nose, a little crusty, a couple of little crusties. And a few MBKs. Some Mexican black king snakes. Nice I think these guys win the award for biggest box at the show. Single box. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, that's the most I've seen. Really? <laughs> Gotta make them fit again. Those are pretty cool. What is this? It's a, a feeder cup for a oh, leopard okay. gecko, okay. argos. Just so it doesn't spill out over the edge or whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, last year was pretty good. Last year you had more? Yeah. <laughs> I had... What's his name? 
Miguel? Yeah, two boxes Miguel, in the backpack. Like, in shock of how many stuff he had. Like, this guy goes crazy. So I, like one time a year, I get to come and have fun. All right, all right. So. Well, at least it's just once a year, otherwise. It well, that wharf market kind of kills it for me. <laughs> I, I've been trying to pick stuff up from you, but it, it just goes too quick. Like, I, I, I wanted to pick up the. I think you had a boss head sunset head clown. Yeah, those are all. Butch, that. yeah. They saw the ones that I'm letting go. Right yeah, that would have been like. It, I've, got a, I've also got a visual clown, 100% um, head five, plus I've got some pastel clowns and some enchi clown, a pastel enchi clown, all 100% head five, yeah. It's nice. It was just hatched, and I, did, I haven't got a meeting yet, I haven't even started to feed them yet, so. Right on, uh, that's cool. Yeah. That's definitely where I want to go too, clown pods. Yeah. And like, sunset clown pod. Yeah, I know, Eventually. I know the feels on that one. <laughs> hey, Brian, really nice to meet you, too, bro. Thanks. Really nice to meet you, and I love your son. All right, thank you guys for watching both parts one and two. I've got phenomenal news I'd like to share with you guys, but I'm going to share it in the next video because I'm going to film another vlog with the family before I head out for Tinley and all the adventures that we're going to get to on there. So I hope you guys are following along. hope you guys are watching Triple B TV because Triple B TV is showing you really cool stuff right now, and a lot of people are missing it, but... Uh, whatever, man. Do what you want to do. Bye. 202 days today. That's incredible.